Hey there everyone, this is Joe from Bullion Now, bullionnow.com.au selling you the best bullion bars and coins shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne, Australia. This is your weekly precious metals technical analysis where we take a look at the big four, gold, silver, platinum and palladium, sometimes the gold to silver ratio as well. Before we move on, congratulations to us and to you too because we have the uh, online store it's finally up and running check out this sexy new store right here to sexy guys talking you talking to you about the store a uh, little uh, welcome video right there um, and we've got a few products for sale not everything obviously uh, just a very sh uh, small range at the moment just to test the functionality of the website but we have been taking orders and thanks to everyone who has ordered so far so bullionnow.com.au and hit the store button right here to uh, go to the limited amount of products as I just said but uh, we've uh, we've got a few so um, that is that and of course you want to subscribe to the channel 416 subscribers as of right now uh, youtube.com slash bullion now weekly auctions uh, obviously these technical analysis videos uh, we just posted a new interview so we're doing interviews with um, just fellow stackers like yourself uh, and if you want to be interviewed um, it doesn't have to be on camera it can be anonymous as well just via Skype or something like that uh, but there's an ounce of silver in it for you if you want to be um, interviewed and uh, yeah we just we ask them we ask people about you know why they got into the metals and what they collect and you know sometimes well for example this gentleman here Simon brought in a did a bit of a show and tell showed us some of his favorite stuff and yeah it's uh, generally a good little conversation okay Back to the analysis, and I just wanted to pull out here to the macro view, the, just to zoom out on gold, just to see where we are right now. And oh, this is on the monthly time frame, and we're using the tradingview.com website, currently hovering at about 15.42. This is US dollars. Okay, so this is the the big chart uh, going back, you know, 1998 all the way back here, 2000 and 2000, 2001 was the low of 250, then we had the high obviously of 1920 in US dollars that is, and uh, down here the low of about 1050, and uh, look where we are right now, very interesting, hey, we had this consolidation pattern for quite a while, just consolidating through time, up, up and down through time, and then just recently we've had that big move and we've moved up to so far where I thought we would roughly top out at. Uh, so far that is, I'm not saying this is the top, but just to have a quick look at where we are right here. As you can see, we've topped out so far at a high of 15.55 and 33 cents. That's according to this particular uh, exchange. This is the CFDs on gold in US dollars and that was right up to just below that little mark where here where I said would be kind of the maximum where I thought it would hit uh, at about 15.65 so a little bit under that 10 bucks under but you can see it's definitely in line with right here I'll show you right uh, this point here roughly they're quite rough but this point this point this point and right there as well it's also a Fibonacci level at uh, 15.64 again taken from this low and this high so we are also on the relative strength index. We're currently in overbought territory. Now, why am I saying all this? Uh, am I going to call for uh, lower prices from here in the short term before we see you know, a continue, continuing uh, upward movement in a general bull market now, which we're in for sure. 100% we're in a bull market, a new bull market in gold. There's no doubt about that. Um, Am I calling that? No, I'm not going to call that just yet. I am still going to stay on the fence. However, I just do want you, I would not be surprised. I want you to take into account we're in overbought territory. Um, doesn't mean we're going to hit, we would head straight down, but we have had a decent move. What are we on the monthly? One, two, three, fourth month in a row, as I've mentioned before, of green candles. And we've come up to, you know, some levels of previous uh, support right here, this Fibonacci level. Either way, and I'll, I'll just I'll state this um, as neutrally as I can, I, as I guess, I guess. Um, either way, if gold was to continue heading up here to another level or if it was to have its um, retraction, which we need to have eventually, either would not surprise me. 
So if we have a move back down, wouldn't surprise me now at all because we've come so far, uh, particularly from back here in August of 2018, but four months, four candles. Generally, when you take a look at bull runs or take a look at uh, runs up, see so one, two, three, four, five months, one, two, three months of green candles, one, two, three months of green candles, two months before a, retra uh, a retracement, one, two, three, four, four, five, but with a little dip there. So you're getting into that four month, five month territory. That's where we are right now. And considering where uh, we are back up here, um, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a healthy leg down. However, with where the economy is going at the moment and with what um, Trump is doing, and et cetera, with the China tariffs, and if there's more tariffs coming ahead, if people are thinking, oh, oh, there's going to be, you know, an even deeper trade war with China, then that's where gold has been going in the opposite uh, direction, been going higher uh, on those fears. So it really does depend on what else is going on in the world at the same time. Don't just look at the technical analysis. So my short answer is I would not be surprised either way if we fall down from here uh, briefly or if we continue up to another level. So let's talk about those levels. Maybe we'll just quickly go back to the daily because how did we get here? And last week, where were we? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven. We were definitely still within this little uh, symmetrical triangle pattern that I'd drawn in. I was talking about it would make a decision either way eventually. It doesn't or never gets to the apex right there, uh, the very corner. It does make a move, and we saw that move. Look at that, and look at that clean, clean move. If I pop you into the four hour, it was pretty textbook. Look at that right there, just skirted what uh, one touch there, another touch there, and just skirted it for, a, um, what, a few hours, and then bang, straight up. So that's where we saw the move all the way up to 15.55. And in the last couple of days, we have just shifted back a little bit. We came all the way back down to 15.25. And right now, 15.42, this is looking like an interesting setup. Let me pop this on, maybe I'll do on the, I'll go back to the four hour. An interesting setup right here. Uh, again, it wouldn't surprise me if we do either continue the run up or if we have a run down. But let's just pop in another couple of trend lines right here. Maybe something like that. Yeah, something like that. That'll do. Um, but we're definitely in this little pattern of higher lows right there. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw another bust through, but again, it wouldn't surprise me if we had headed lower. So sorry to be that guy, but it just, it honestly wouldn't surprise me either way. So let's just talk about targets then. So let me get rid of a few of these and then we'll just talk about, uh, targets moving up and targets moving down from here. I'll get rid of that one and I'll get rid of that one right there. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Much appreciated. I think this is going to be a bit of a longer one today. Can you tell? So moving down from here, and we'll talk on, go back on the monthly to look at the macro view. Uh, definitely, if we have, say, maybe a 50% retracement from the green candles, uh, or roughly 50% retracement, I'd be talking around about previous highs here of approximately... 1450 I could see that let's pop into the weekly see if that fits with anything within the weekly time frame yeah down around about your 1450 level is where I think it could retrace to maybe down even back to here at your 1430 so somewhere between 1430 to 1450 is where I could see it retracing back down to if we have a retracement from here uh, and the next one moving down from here would be all the way back down to uh, 1375. Uh, keep in mind that this, I think, trend line could still be in play right here going through this low and this particular higher low right there. So you never know. We could even uh, go all the way back down to touch this line, but it just depends on when it touches. If we have a drawn out dip for, you know, until say the next what are we talking until maybe the start or the middle of December, then we could come all the way and t down and touch this line at some point. Just depends on when it hits. But my first call for a quick retracement uh, would be uh, anywhere down to and between 1450 
to 14.30. So that's moving down. Um, if we if it's just a smaller retracement from there, just make a little dip and then you know off to the races again, then I'd be talking about this uh, level right here, of, well, the, the psychological at fifteen hundred dollars. So there, my calls moving down, and let's talk about moving up. We should always talk about the up targets because that's really much more exciting, isn't it? Um, now ignore this line right here. Uh, don't worry about that. We're going to be popping in a horizontal line and. Oh, if I was a betting man, uh, which mostly I'm not, uh, let's see, I'd be talking right about here for the next move up. Uh, if you, as you can see, it coincides with this little uh, point of resistance right there, and that's at approximately 1680. I could see that moving up to there, anywhere up to uh, this level right here, 1680 to 1800. So that would possibly be the next move up. If we have a little dip and then we move uh, back up, I'd be talking at a, a range between, and it's a very large range, guys, so do keep that in mind. Um, as you get higher and higher, um, the ranges tend to, to widen a bit. Um, but anywhere between sort of the 1680 to the 1800 mark, because there's between there and there, there's not a lot of different points to... Um, uh, to use as technical analysis. So somewhere in that range, uh, moving higher from here and, you know, getting, moving higher and off to the races. You know what, let's just talk about very quickly. May We may as well, let's do some blue sky thinking. We'll just talk about some next Fibonacci levels. Let's just talk about if we just go sky high from here. Or let's talk about, you know, moving in, up in the next kind of year and a bit. So the next, out of interest, the next... Fibonacci level, it's calculated from the low and the high, and that's the 1.618 level, and that's at approximately, well not approximately, it's about 2,950, so I guess you could comfortably call that the $3,000 value, that would be your next major, major one, I think, before you'd see a big retracement, could that possibly even coincide with this very long-term trend line, going all the way back to April of 2001. See those lows through there, through there, through there. Oh no, sorry, it's not that one. That's that. Oh yeah, no, that's no, that's that one. I'm talking about this one right here between uh, this low and this low. So through there, that could even potentially. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I am talking about this one. Sorry guys, between this longer term one right here, got to follow the lines, as you can see right there. Could it coincide with this line at some point? Yeah, so look, uh, quite possibly that could become a level of resistance before we would head up to the Fibonacci level. Anyway, that's just blue sky thinking on gold. I've given you my up targets and my down targets for the shorter term. So let's head over to silver. Thanks again for your patience here. Silver. Uh, actually, quickly, before we move to silver, I am going to show AUD, so Australian dollars in gold because I have been doing that recently. Woo, now we look at that just very quickly. Um, we I did post in, not last week, but in between posted in this little trend line right here. And what do you know, it ended up coming right up against that trend line. Now in Australian dollars, we are in way all time high territories right here. We've had a high of, uh, what are we, 2,321. Um, but again, where the price goes in Australian dollars depends on where the price of US dollar is going and what the US versus Australian dollar is doing at the same time and we're weakening uh, against the US dollar at the moment. Uh, so that really depends, but you can see that's one, two, three, four, five candles. We've got a little bit of uh, retracement to do eventually, obviously. So let's go back to uh, silver. This really is going to be a long one today, I think. Silver. $18.40. Woohoo! Now, I need to go back to the monthly and talk about what was I talking about last time. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, same thing. Six and seven. We were still within this little symmetrical triangle pattern here. We had come up to the high of almost, uh, it was about 1750. And I had been talking about a level of between, if I pop this on the weekly, I had been talking about a level, and I didn't pop in the uh, horizontal lines, I'll just do them again. 
I was talking about coming up to uh, a level of between 1770 to 1820. That's the level I was talking about last week and the week before is where we could come up to. We've actually smashed right through those. So I was incorrect, but I'm very happy to be incorrect. We On the weekly time frame, we have smashed completely through those. Uh, even on the daily, I think we, uh, we had a maybe up. We had a slight... We came up to the 1820, had a slight dip, and then we continued higher. Looks like we still might be continuing higher. You never know. And look, we did have that same thing as gold. Um, it got close to the very apex and was making a decision either way. It was really poised to break out, and then <laughs> it did. It. I thought it could have you know, possibly broken down as well, could have gone either way. But luckily, we've broken to the upside. So let's take a look maybe on the four hour, see what we're doing right now. Man, it still looks like we're, we've got some juice left to go up here. Again, as I said, wouldn't be surprised if we continue higher or if we have the big retracement from here. Neither is going to surprise me at all uh, with the way the metals have been going at the moment. So moving higher. Actually, sorry, we always should talk about moving lower. Let's talk about the big move. If this is, if this is the big move lower, where could we go back to? Uh, I would be thinking very much uh, definitely... At, at a minimum, if we have a retracement, at a minimum, we'd be coming back to this level right here. And that's co coinciding very closely with uh, this trend line right here. And you'd be looking at approximately the $17.50 level. I'm now going to get rid of that $17.70 level. And I'll get rid of the $18.20 level now. I don't think they're very much uh, in play right now as levels of support. I think we might possibly come back to visit here, possibly at some point. Um, this level and I think the minimum we would hit as I said is about 1750 so it's a bit of a 90 cent drop but that's if we were to drop from this point and not continue much higher from here uh, if we were to drop lower uh, you'd be looking at probably this support level right about here at about $16 I call it $16 and 60 cents 16 dollars and 70 cents so that's my call either back down to about $17.50 or all the way back down to approximately $16.70 in my personal opinion, not financial advice. Okay, moving higher. Let's pop back onto the monthly. And look, really, our next level that we need to tackle. Uh, yeah, look, if we moved up to this next tiny little level, that's not high enough at about $18.60. I think your next one would have to be approximately here at about $19.30. But really from there, I think we're looking at, um, we're looking at the big level here of 21. That's gonna be your big next major level. Definitely at about $21, $21.10 is the next major. I am absolutely not saying we're going to there next before we have a big retracement as i said wouldn't surprise me if we retraced from here but that's going to be your big one right there and that's very obvious to anyone who's looking at the charts right there 21 is your big one but maybe here and look if i'm being if i'm playing it safe maybe here as well uh, at about your 20 dollar and 15 cent mark so there are my three up targets 19 dollars 40 20 dollars 10 roughly give or take and your $21 mark moving higher from here. I certainly hope we go in that direction. Um, uh, well, you know, I certainly hope we go in that direction if you're looking to buy more as well. So you might want to you know, load up the truck if it does have a decent dip. Uh, so that is silver. And let's go to an interesting, a surprising one uh, this week as well. Look at platinum. Woo! Uh, look at this on the weekly. We are finally... Finally, we are out of this symmetrical triangle pattern. We're out of it. We're broken. We're out of it. It's done. Done and dusted. Um, I thought it may have taken a little bit longer. I thought we were going to see, you know, a bit more of a dip, maybe one more test of this uh, bottom end of this trend line right here. But no, lo and behold, because gold and silver went that way, uh, platinum decided to go in the same direction. So we smashed through this level here of 900, came close to this level here of about 9.15. Haven't hit that quite yet. So that level right there will be a, a little bit of a level of resistance. I think that's pretty obvious right here at approximately 
between 9.10 and 9.15, about 9, 915 US dollars it'll be. But I'll just move that down a little bit. There we go. Right there, you might see a little bit of a retracement uh, back down, but moving, if we were to break down from here, which I don't see that happening, but if we were, um, you've got these previous key levels that I've talked about. So actually just pause the video now, uh, check out this level, this level, this level, and the bottom end of this trend channel and this level right here. Just pause it, you'll see those uh, targets. Uh, the up targets are the same. You can just pause the video if you like uh, right here, that 950 level that's coinciding with a few key points um, in a previous uh, going back in time that is. And approximately the, I think I'd said the $1,010 level as well. But I think more likely, I'm going to move that one. I'm going to move that and I'm going to take it back up to, I reckon maybe there, the $1,030 level would be the next one after that. And let's do some blue sky thinking on platinum as well. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, and this one too, definitely. So... You've got those to look for. Now that's not coming straight away, but that's definitely on the cards eventually. If if it's going to go in the way of gold and silver as well, if platinum's going in the same direction, then you'd definitely be looking at this one as a big level of resistance at approximately $1,200. Uh, but there my targets uh, moving up and down. Pause them if you need to, and that is platinum. And lastly, palladium. Right here, I didn't look at silver in Australian dollars. We'll head back to that in a second. But here's palladium. Uh, still within this uh, the ascending triangle pattern, that is, I should say. So still within that. Not a lot to say in the last week. We haven't moved a whole bunch. What have we done? Yeah, just a bit more of a consolidatory pattern. Uh, consolidation through time. Um, I'm still going to keep that as uh, neutral with uh, palladium and uh, wouldn't be surprised if we see a dip from here wouldn't be surprised if we broke through the all-time high as well so I know that's not great for you guys I know you don't like it really when I sit on the sit on the fence too much but I have to call it as I see it um, and we've talked plenty of times about my up targets and my further down targets for palladium so just check out previous videos uh, for those ones uh, we'll go to silver in AUD sorry about that uh, that would be XAGAUD because once again for those who are watching internationally um, this may not be of any interest to you but certainly of interest to us because uh, it's very good to see silver back in these kind of ranges and I've, after speaking to a lot of people who have been in the store buying this week and the week before uh, and who have been previous stackers through this whole period of you know the $50 mark and and buying back here at 17 and 18 and stuff and buying on the way up a lot of people people have been telling me that they've re reached their approximate dollar cost average at the moment um, if the, both of if they were to sell out at spot price uh, and we happen to pay spot price for metal we don't pay a price below we pay 100% of spot price at what is at whatever it is at the time that you're in the store we don't take a cut out of that. Um, but also, uh, people have said, you know, if uh, I was to sell my one ounce coins for, you know, spot plus $3, you know, which is still pretty cheap for a one ounce coin, um, that's where my dollar cost average would sit at. So people are coming in and they're, they're quite happy because they're breaking even now. Now, still, there are people who are buying all the way up here, and that is that is what it is. Hopefully, those people have hodled through time and because we are going to see uh, definite moves higher uh, coming soon but just look keep, keep into or take into account one two three months worth uh, and some long green candles right there so do not be surprised uh, if we do see a retracement coming and it will come it will come uh, but uh, we've got a little bit of room to move up to the this previous high here of uh, $28.20. We could possibly move there. Again, depends on what happens in the US dollar uh, as well. So that's silver in AUD. And finally, we'll just look at quick gold to silver ratio because silver's been on a tear. And because silver's been on a bit of a tear, we've seen a lowering in the gold to silver ratio, currently hovering now at 83.78. Um, I still believe, or I had believed, and I'll still stick with it for now, that we were heading on our way up to the 1 to 100 mark. I still think we could get there. You know, if uh, silver has this 
a uh, little rise. So gold rises, silver lags behind, then silver catches up, and then it repeats uh, the cycle. So if we have uh, another massive gold run before silver and silver stays the same we could potentially head all the way up to 100 in my opinion because we have done it twice before in uh, recorded history uh, in terms of uh, charting historical charts that is um, but 83 not bad hey that's pretty good that just tells us that silver has um, been outperforming gold at the moment so that's it I'm gonna leave it at that that was a long one make sure you head over to bullionnow.com.au uh, and start uh, buying your best bullion bars and coins from us uh, and we're shipping to you worldwide we currently don't have an international shipping function uh, as part of the calculating shipping section of the you know the checkout procedure but just send us an email if you're anywhere else in, uh, in the world send us an email say I live in blah 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 what would be I'm looking at ordering this this and this what would be the uh, amount uh, and then we'll just we'll just give you a shipping code. It's actually quite reasonable uh, too. And of course, hit the big red subscribe button right here on youtubecom slash now for 16 subscribers. Join the family. Thanks, gang. Stay safe, and we'll speak to you soon.